Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into Advance Bravely. We're diving into episode 28. We've only got three episodes left after this point. And yeah, as you may notice, I'm wearing a new shirt. Um because a number of you guys have put in the comments section of my reactions to this series, oh my god, I need you to put Bromance My Ass on a t-shirt. I need you to put Bromance My Ass on a t-shirt. I, I, I want it, I want it, I want it. And I didn't realize that it was quite as popular a statement as it was, but who knows? Apparently that's my catchphrase now. But I'm still not 100% sold on this particular design, but I know that I wanted to have something for the recording session of these last couple episodes, so I just threw this together, printed it out, and here we go. Um, but I feel like I'm still going to make a couple edits, maybe add a couple other things, because I just have some like statements that I've made throughout watching this, and I'll put a picture up here so you can see it clearly. But obviously I've got bromance, question mark, slashed through, um, hashtag bromance my ass, love is love. Um, okay girl, we'll go with that. Um, and because friends? And then I've got another hashtag bromance my ass. Um, I feel like there's other things I'd probably say, but I was really just trying to think of stuff related to this topic and this series specifically. Um, and that's all I could come up with at the time. But So I might make some changes. I probably will. I might rearrange some things. I don't know. But preliminary prelim, preliminary thought, here it is. Um, if you guys want the preliminary issue, um, I'll put the link down in the description over on Redbubble. Um, but yeah, I may make some changes if you guys have suggestions of things that I've said that I can also add to the shirt or, you know, change that I can make. Let me know. And I think, you know, I can work that out too. But yeah, so we're going to dive into these last few episodes and just see where things go. I know a couple people um, were putting down in the comment section some warning slash spoilers unintentionally slash intentionally. Um, basically saying, oh, they don't think I'm going to like the ending. I won't like this, that, and the other stuff that could happen. And... Like, okay, y'all y'all need to chill. Y'all need to chill. Because um, there's been so many people who said I wouldn't like this series in general because of all the censorship and it's not a BL series. It's blah, 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 bromance, which, you know, inspired all of this. And clearly, clearly we are here. Clearly I've got merch based off the series. I made my own fucking merch based off the series. So clearly I enjoy the fucking series. So we're just going to dive in, see where this goes, see how things end and just... Yeah. That's fine. I had die you rescuing or playing Zeus and rescuing his baby. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring your ass, girl. I'm here to rescue you. And now don't you tilt and topple your ass out of this damn doorless car, okay? Last thing I need is your ass falling out and... Mm -mm. Keep your ass upright. Causing trouble. See, and it's kind of like a fun little parallel between like how they first met when it was da or Dayu taking a drunk Wang home on his back, even though he didn't know he was. And now it's kind of role reversal, drunk ass Dayu being rescued by Wang. And it looks like he's taking him to his place because this don't look like Dayu's place. Okay, baby. It's just fun to see how tables have turned, how far we've come. Anybody who has a foot fetish, that that was for you. Not for me. Girl, I'm taking off your damn jacket. You're too damn clothed to sleep. I don't know how people in these... Even if your ass is drunk, I don't know how people sleep fully clothed with all the lights on and one pillow. It never made no sense to me. <laughs> I mean, if, even if he was in his right mind, which he's not right now, I, I don't think he'd be able to make it all the way to his house. Yeah. 
，你永远就是我相当于最好的最好的兄弟。行行行，我就是下药。还发歌啊？我也是你最好的哥们。装，你还接着给我装？啊？你说你冒充谁不好啊？你非要给我冒充妖？你有那个硬性条件吗？啊？好，好，好，我错了，行了吧？困子，你明天还得拍件儿了。你说我这么长时间我都在干嘛呀？我都不知道我怎么。嗯。Oh, the amount of cheekbone in this bed. <laughs> Wang Zhishui. Mm-hmm. Is it Wang Zhishui? Oh, my God. I'm begging you. Sleep. I'm tired. I'm tired. I know you're Wang Zhishui. Okay. Okay, cuddle. Oh, baby. Girl, you just got there. Baby, I mean, isn't like an alarm clock? Can't we just like put push a button on it or something? Like, doesn't it just like stop crowing after a certain amount of time? Like, do, do they just sit there and crow all day? I don't know. I don't have chickens or roosters. I I I don't live that life. Y'all know I don't do birds. Girl, it's the dead of night. What? 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 Why what, what is it? I mean, is it dawn? Is that like what? Like the sun is rising or about? To, like it looked like dead ass night. Like go to sleep. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, take your ass to sleep. Lord? China? China, I don't think I want to see this. Oh, God. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh God, no! Ah, ah, ah! I hate this. I don't. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. See, I'm fucks around with birds, and then. Uh. Mm -mm. Nope, not, I'm not here for this. I'm not here for this. I don't like this. We were having such a good time. It was such a romantic little moment we were having. We were nice, all cuddled up and just cute, and now, now we done yeah. fuck shit up. I'm... Ah, ah, oh, Jesus, I don't like this, I don't like this. Looking like a fucking murder scene, Lord. Oh, mm. uh -uh. I'm not here for this, I'm not here for this, I'm not here for this. I don't subscribe to this channel. Uh -uh. Lord, and you're still covered in feathers, Jesus. Would we not go change our pillowcases? No? Okay. <laughs> it's like, fine, someone please save me. I, I, I love that you, but I can't deal with this drunk shenanigans right now. I got to work tomorrow. Oh shit, it wasn't even his chicken, Lord. Why don't you tell your chicken to shut up in the middle of the damn night? Lord! 
姨，请问一下，王之水家是在这儿吗？谢谢啊。真是什么人就养什么样的畜生呀！这帮王八蛋们，你们记着啊！我，你再掉我们家的鸡，我们。Oh baby, you you missed a couple spots cleaning. <laughs> 靠，什么酒啊？你呀，你藏的够深的，丫。Girl， 你得听我解释啊，丫。丫，你听我解释啊。哪来的鸡毛啊？还有漏网之鱼。哎，你别碰我，浑身都疼。昨晚现原形了。啥？夏，你说宣大宇跟偷他钱那男生搞在一起去了？前两天我还琢磨大宇和王志水合伙欺负袁如的事儿。<音>一直想问，打电话就是不接，结果又整了这么一出重口味的事儿。现在彻底明白了，啥也别问了。Okay, so if we can jump to those conclusions about them, like I just saw them in bed one time, and now all of a sudden they're together, then I don't want to hear any confusion about what's going on with you and Zong. 别血腥，有有多血腥啊？你就别问了，夏阳。Okay, so. 两个人在一起时间长了。This tells me, at least in this series, that him and Zong ain't done a goddamn thing. Because, like, if he would, I, I, like, yes, there might be some unpleasantness that happens, but there's not gonna be like walls full of blood. Okay. They're not out there sacrificing. Well, they might have been sacrificing chickens in this case, but like, <laughs> Lord, 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 Lord. But yes, I don't want to hear any confusion about what's going on between Zong and Yao because if Yao can has a mental mental capacity to jump to that conclusion when someone else is just seen together in bed and seems kind of affectionate, what's going on between him and Zong is like the nth degree of that. So. 嗯，对啊，你哥们找你，谁啊？就上回打咱们训练室那小子。See the thing with him is now that when he's not being a complete ass to Yao and like okay you're gonna be so and so's brother-in-law so I gotta be hard on you, he's actually quite cute, quite attractive. These pants fit very very nicely. Cheekbones for days. I mean, let's not say nothing. Just那么老整这种事儿，我就纳闷儿，你怎么老整这种事儿？我又怎么了？你忘了那天晚上咱俩喝醉了，我住你家里，那不也整了这么一出？我正要跟你说这事儿呢，那天我是喝多了，把你
This one doesn't want to I just want to hug him, put his head in my in my shoulder and just wait, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I guess that's one explanation for what happened. Lord. Mm-hmm. And the, the, did you not wonder about the random blood stains you had on all over your body or on the sheets and whatnot? We're, we're gonna maybe consider that there was actually a chicken that is no longer? No? Okay. Oh, baby. Ciao. And then we transition immediately into these two beautiful, beautiful men, naked in bed, laying on each other, playing games. Because friends. Mm -hmm. I will say I am thoroughly enjoying this view. Praise Jesus, Buddha, Allah, and all the saints up there. Mm. See, this could have been the whole fucking show. I, I, I would have been fine. Because this is exactly how I play all the games with my friends. Okay, girl, we'll go with that. Oh, Lord. Just want to nuzzle all the imp in there. Child, look at that glance. That glance of friendship because friends. <laughs> I might be making changes to the shirt, but if nothing else, it acts as a good teacher's chalkboard where I can just point to things. All right, class, what is today's phrase of the day? <laughs> I like those pants. Wait, I face tell me he might have a problem with that. Do we not actually have a girlfriend? Is the girlfriend story the the, the, the fake storyline and we actually living in sin with Mr. Man over here? Everybody gay? I might have to ask that to my shirt. Hashtag everybody gay. Child, the way he threw that book and he's looking? She's unwilling to go. Girl, you haven't asked her yet. Like, I want to believe he has genuine, like, affection for this guy, even though I don't like this guy. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I love that, because every time I see him, I always comment about how he's just got this messy-ass bedhead. He always looks like he just rolled out of bed. I love that that's how he styles his hair. He spends the time to style his hair to look like he just rolled out of bed. I love it. It's adorable. Hello. I swear, the cheekbones on that man. Girl, someone who is that naked and that wet and delicious with cheekbones like that should be this angry right now. Come Girl, you love me. You love me. 
I mean, hell, we practically live together at this point. Okay, so it's like we, we just meeting everybody's boyfriend today. Is that what's happening? <laughs> Cartilage tissue damage. I'm, I'm sorry? I'm sorry? Girl, of course he found your friendship. Okay, this was an interesting episode. Very interesting. Um, like, with the majority of these series I watch, normally by the time we get to this point where we've only got like a few episodes left. Like, we've gone through so much already in the series and I have a general idea of where the storyline is going to go. Or like, I have a general idea at least of what the big final conflict is supposed to be that we're supposed to get the resolution on and how the, you know, story should progress from that point, you know, moving forward. Here, I don't really, I don't really get that vibe. I don't really know. What, what we're working towards, if we're working towards anything at all. And I know you guys let me know that somewhere around this time frame, I don't, might have been the last few episodes, um, is when the show got like canceled and then it got re, because you know, censorship, but then it got, you know, put back into production and they basically just did like a big like wrap up. So they tied some loose ends up and whatever and you know, called a day. So, that might be what's happening here. That might just be the result of like the censorship and them just trying to wrap up the character storyline so that the, the series can say, yep, we're done, we finished, yay. Everybody's got a happy ending or whatever. So that might be what's happening here and they're just not getting to really explore the stuff from the novel because the censorship and the novel is a lot. Um, that might just be the case of what's happening here. And you know, that's, that's fine, I guess. I just don't have any trajectory, really. I don't know where this story is supposed to be going, if anywhere. It just feels like good, happy moments, which I'm like, okay, that's fine. We can have these good, happy moments. It's cute. Um, but yeah, we started off where, you know, last episode left off. Wang went to go rescue um, Dayu because he was drunk. And, you know, he took him in his little buggy, took him to his apartment, and it was really, really cute. And like I mentioned there, it was a cute little parallel to like the first time that they met when Wang was drunk and ended up on his back and he took him to his house and now Dai Yu is drunk off his ass and Wang is basically carrying him over to his house. Like it's just cute, cute little parallel happening there. Um, and yeah, like we were having some cute moments. Um, Dai Yu was like, oh, you know, Yao, you're my best friend and I, or you're always the best friend of Dai Yu or you know, whatever. And Wang's just there like, girl, will you go to sleep? He's like, fine, yes, I'm meow, I'm meow. You're my best friend, I'm your best friend. I love you so much. Go the fuck to bed. Go the fuck to sleep. And um, Wang's like, keep pretending. Or Yao's like, sorry, Dayu. <laughs> Getting all of my names mixed up. Dayu's like, keep pretending. And in my head, when he said that, like, I thought this storyline was gonna about to go somewhere completely different. I was very excited about where my head took this storyline. Uh, so let, let, let's go on a little journey real quick. So when he said, keep pretending, I thought that like Wang would, you know, put up some little bit of you know, fight, whatever, like he's been doing like, oh, just go to bed. No, go to bed. Oh my God, I have to deliver packages in the morning. Please go to bed. But then would eventually, you know, give in and just keep pretending to be Yao. And in my mind, while he's pretending to be Yao, yes, Wang can recognize that he's not Yao, obviously because he said, keep pretending, keep pretending. And then later on, he's like, oh, you're Wang, blah, blah, blah. So obviously he's drunk off his ass, but he's still cognizant enough to know that, okay, this is not Yao that I'm talking to. He's just pretending. Um, so I thought he was gonna take the opportunity to have him pre keep pretending to be Yao to use that as an opportunity to make a move on 
Wang to, you know, go in and do some cuddling, maybe some kissing, something, to put some sort of move on him under the guise that, oh, I feel like I'm talking to Yao right now, so I'm doing this all because I'm talking to Yao right now. But knowing full well that he's not talking to Yao, and he's just using that as an excuse to rationalize why he's allowing himself to do these things that he kind of wanted to do for a while. Um, so I thought we were about to go down that route and I was very, very excited um, because I've been shipping together, them together since day one. So I'm very excited by the premise. Obviously I didn't expect us to get like any like kissing and anything like that because this is China, we don't do that here. Um, but still, like, the Im implication of something happening, like him making some sort of move, like, that's what I thought we were going towards, and I was very excited. But then, you know, we decided to come take the storyline a complete 180 and turn it into a fucking creature feature and slaughter chickens all over the place. I'm like, oh, Jesus, I'm not here for this. I'm not here for this. I don't subscribe to this channel at all. Mm -mm. Because y'all already know. Y'all know from earlier in the series when the owl had his little bird. I've already mentioned it there. I don't do birds. I don't like birds. I don't like them in the least. Um, I don't fuck around with chickens. Mm -mm -mm. I, don't, I don't do it. I don't do it. No, Jesus, I'm not here for it. Um, it reminds me of... I don't know, like eight, nine, half many years ago. I don't remember how old, how long are we've been friends. Um, but I was hanging out at my friend Zach's house back when he was living over here before he met his British husband and moved over to London. Or love him. Um, but this is back in like the early days of our friendship. Um, he was still living with his parents, and you know, I was just hanging out. At, at the house with him and a couple of his other friends there. And, you know, just chilling. I was laying on the floor on my stomach watching the TV. Um, and he went out to his backyard and I didn't really think anything of it because, you know, it's his house and he'll do whatever the hell he wants. But what I didn't know was, unbeknownst to me, he went to his backyard and he grabbed a chicken, which I didn't even know they had chickens. You know, that would have put up a red flag in my mind had I known. Um, and he grabbed a chicken and he placed it on my ass. And y'all, let me tell y'all, I had the biggest slash smallish panic slash not panic attack because I like I said I don't do birds I don't do this I don't do it I don't do it so I internally I am freaking out but externally I'm keeping it cool calm and collected because the last thing I want to do is freak out and then have this chicken freak out while it is on top of me because I don't know what it's going to do so I'm like I need this thing to be removed with a quickness and I'm trying I was not having it I was I don't I don't fuck around with birds especially chicken so this whole scenario here I'm like I'm not here for this I'm not here for this I'm not here for this I do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then, oh Lord, <sighs> the, the 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 chicken slight throat throat slitting, and then it's spewing blood all over the damn place, and it's it's turning into a murder scene in this damn apartment, and it's just flying all over, still making all. Oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm, not here for it. So we're just gonna hop, skip, jump over that. Chicken's dead. He killed it. It's gone. Dead and buried. Um, so I was like, okay, fine, you've cleaned up. Now we're back in bed. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can save this night a little bit. And you know, we can go back into like the cuddling or something. But you know, Yao, Yao texts um, Dayu's phone and he's like, uh, Wang's like, oh, thank God, someone's to rescue me. He's at my house, please come get him. <laughs> Done. <laughs> and then, you know, next day we come back and then find out that it wasn't actually his chicken, it was just somebody else's chicken, which I'm like, Lord Jesus, that makes it even worse. But Lord, why don't you know how to make your chickens not make noise in the middle of the damn night? Like, if you don't, what do you expect to happen? I'm surprised that they stayed alive this long, lady. Like, Lord, like, control your damn chickens. But, yeah, so <laughs> Yao comes to retrieve Dayu and then sees him in bed with Wang. And it's like, you've been hiding this so well. Oh, and storms off. And I'm like, okay, girl. Well, if we can jump to those conclusions for them, you just see them in bed once. There should be no confusion about what is going on between Yao and Zong. There should be absolutely zero confusion. Because if in his head he's rationalizing these two being in bed together, covered in blood and feathers, which, okay, it's a whole nother graphic novel thing that I don't need in my head um, but if he's rationalizing that as okay they have been sleeping together they are an item well the number of times I have seen you 
in more curious positions, we'll say, with Zong. The number of times I've seen your ass butt ass naked in this bed with Zong, playing video games or whatever it is, in just the last like five minutes. <laughs> like, there should be no confusion about what's going on between them. Okay, okay, okay. Romance my ass. Um, but <laughs> yeah, then we cut over to, well, he's talking with um, Peng Zhe and you know, just rationalizing through things and then blah, 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 stuff happens. And then eventually, eventually, um, that you gets a hold of Yao. He takes him in the car. He explains what's happening. I was drunk and, you know, I don't know what's happening. And then you came and blah, 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 blah. And yeah, can I confess something to you? I think he's a chicken monster. I'm like, okay, Lord, baby, how drunk are you? How drunk were you? Like, I guess it's one way to rationalize what you saw in, in your drunken stupor, but Lord, baby, Lord. <laughs> like, I, we, we didn't even think of the possibility that there might have just been a chicken that no longer exists. We, we just, okay, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then Yao decided that he wanted to invite everybody to just like a group dinner date. And I'm like, okay, so we're just, every, we're just meeting everybody's boyfriend now. Because he invited Dai Yu and Wang. He invited Peng Zi and told him to bring his girlfriend. But then he started to dial up this alleged girlfriend, I guess. And then as soon as his other friend sat down, he stopped, he, he immediately, you know, ended the call. And he's like, hey, why don't you come with me? Which leads me to believe that he might see this guy as more than just a cover story to get a girl. Because he's making the conscious choice to invite this person. Because he's like, oh yeah, the girl, she, she didn't want to do it. And I'm like, you didn't ask her yet. You didn't ask her. So you you're kind of asking him playing it off like he's your second choice but okay hashtag everybody gay I'm here for it I'm here for it I fucks with this um, yeah that's more or less where the episode ended like starting to meet at the restaurant and you know oh I'm sorry about this that and the other um, but one thing that Yao said while um, Wang was having his whole speech trying to get um Zong's autograph because he's such a huge fan. He's like, oh yes, even the minor cartilage damage that you caused, I didn't want to get it repaired because, you know, I'm such a huge fan, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I said something along the lines, once um, once people experience anal sex, um, they, I don't know, they elevate themselves or they dress better or something like that. You know, talking about his style and what he was wearing, I'm like, child, what do you think that him and that you did and also by that notion I, I saw the jacket you bought Zong girl and obviously I know things that have happened in the novel so by this point in the novel Yao was like 15 times pregnant you know at least um, but in the in the, in, the, in the series we're watching here it is a lot softer a lot more romantic and I I'm under the impression they've not done the things yet. Um, just lots of closeness, cuddling, sleeping together, all that. Maybe they have done things, because I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. I found that line interesting. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on this episode. I'm going to jump into the next episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to so be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments, and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.